Uh, hello there. Uh, I'm gonna do something kind of interesting, or different here. Uh, I'm actually gonna record me grinding, because I wanted to talk for a minute. Uh, I, <laughs> I wanted to complete my train of thought from the last episode, uh, because I just started fighting Midas, and then I completely didn't finish what I was trying to say. Um, and that was that I personally wouldn't feel comfortable doing a Nuzlocke, especially of the, something like this, like this game is like notoriously known notoriously known. The, a game that's known for being hard like this because to me like, even though I'm doing it with the intention of just making the game harder I feel like it would be total clickbait and again it's not like I'm doing it with that intention but I would just feel like that for some reason I just I have a really weird standard when it comes to certain things like especially with my own work like there's certain things I will and won't do because if I do them then I'll feel like I'm like not, like, not even, like, selling out, because that's not possible, but I, I would feel like I'm not being true to myself, almost. And that's kind of how I feel about Nuzlocke. Like, I'm not calling out anybody in particular, okay? Like, this isn't, like, like a diss video <laughs> or anything. I'm not going to start doing a, a diss rap or something. Like, I'm not I'm not about that. I'm not naming names. I'm not trying to, like, you know, I'm not, I'm not throwing... What's it? Throwing shade? Is that what you kids say? I'm not trying to do that. That's the last thing that I'm trying to do. I don't want anybody th thinking that I'm talking about them because I'm not. Um, but I see people and they're like, oh, well, it's the hardest game ever, so I'm going to do a nuzlocke of it. And they're not doing it for views, but I feel like I'd be doing it for clicks. I'd be like, oh, well, look at this. It's like the hardest rom hack and this person's doing a nuzlocke oh my god like i just that's how i would feel even if that wasn't what i was doing and it wouldn't be what i would be doing i just wouldn't want to do a nuzlocke on screen and plus i like to it to be more personal like i said um all of the recent nuzlocks that oh whew, i lost i didn't have any air in my lungs for a minute all of the nuzlocks that i've done i have like documented and I want to turn into like a big um, story lock thing. I wouldn't make it into a comic because I cannot draw, so I'll do what I do best and that's stories. And nobody likes story locks, so <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what happens. But yeah, that's that's the way that I look at Nuzlocke. I think it's a very personal thing, and I wouldn't want to do that on camera, I would feel like that would not ruin the experience? I don't know. I'm not good at, at explaining this, but that's that's sort of what I'm, I'm trying to say. And again, I want to reiterate, not, not talking about anybody in particular. I swear I'm not. I just, uh, that's just how I feel on the topic. Um, unrelated, but, uh, I was looking the other day, or like a week ago, and I was trying to see if anybody still cared about this series besides me. I saw one verified account, I forget who it was, doing a, doing a videos, and I'm not talking about them, I didn't watch it, I just saw that they were doing videos, and I saw two other people do it, not talking about them either. Uh, so there's still some interest in these games, which is kind of cool. Um, so I hope that when the third game comes around like there's people who do it besides me and I hope that people eventually discover this game and they start playing it because uh, that would be cool to see I would like to see someone try and do a Nuzlocke this is what I'm trying to say I won't do it fuck that are you kidding but I'd like I'd like to see someone try because that would be kind of neat so again it's not for me but other people can certainly do it and I think it's cool but again it's just I don't I would feel uh, not genuine in doing it so, that's, that's that. Um, mostly I'm recording me grinding. Show how tedious it is? No. <laughs> Y'all know it's tedious. Um, because everybody's gonna get to level 100. And I want to kind of show that on screen because that's like a momentous occasion and Maroon just can't fucking do anything right. I swear to god. Oh, do Scarlet first. You know, sometimes I think, like, what, what if, what if I did replace him, what would I have put on the team? Probably, like, I don't know. 
I can't think of anything, but I po probably a different dragon, because I know you can encounter other dragons, but just not him. One of my deepest regrets for this LP, and I'll be frank, is that I didn't reset when I saw he had a shitty nature. I should have I should have reset. Because I basically doomed him to be the useless dragon that he is today. And I will fully admit that it's my fault. I get mad at him, but, you know, it's my fault. And again, he's just a bunch of pixels. I don't like to think of Pokemon like that, but technically that's what they are. Also, for being blissy, they're not giving that much of EXP. Then again, he doesn't have a lucky egg. I probably should give him a lucky egg. There, I kind of ran out of things to talk about because I wanted to elaborate on my last thought because <laughs> Midas made me lose my train of thought. Oh shit, I didn't. <sighs> oh, 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 there we go. There we go, level 100, woo! Fuck yes. Uh, no, you're not gonna do that. <laughs> I will put, uh, Cyan in the front, because she's next. You know, um, this is not apropos of anything either, but, um, I'm in college at the moment, if, if none of you know, or if any of you aren't unaware, rather, um, and I, 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 ha I have a suite by myself. I won't elaborate why, I just do. Um, <laughs> and But yet I have a, I still have like a sweet kind of setup. I think I might have explained this before. But um, I live with six other girls and then they, they have all different, we have all different rooms. We share a bathroom and like a lounge area. And I'm not sure how well they can hear me commentating, like if they go into the lounge or if they're in the bathroom or something. And sometimes I wonder if they think I'm crazy, like because I'm just sitting in here yelling <laughs> just yelling to myself <laughs> about about games like not even just this one i'm just yelling to myself about games i think i think most of them are aware that i have uh kevin and i have my friends that i talk to uh over skype even though he's like the only person i really call anymore um but yeah like sometimes i just wonder if like they pray for my sanity or something because like they just think that i'm crazy I know I want to ask, but I just wonder if they think I'm, like, nuts. I remember uh, when I was back home, and I lived with uh, families, I would... When I, when I lived with my grandma, I used to tell her that I was recording, because she used to have a habit of just walking into my room. Uh, she still did it, even after, even if I told her I was going to be recording, she still did it. Because I took real pride in the awful, awful videos I used to make. <laughs> it's just shitty, shitty quality, but I, and I still have shitty quality when I'm talking about. But yeah, I used to take real pride in my videos. I would hang up shit, hang up something on my, hang a little post on my door, like a little um, slip of paper with tape on it. It's like, oh, recording, do not disturb, whatever. And it was, uh, it was, um, <laughs> it was kind of fun. Uh, I know I don't have a lot of videos, a lot of them are on private, but I've actually been really Let's Playing since my channel was made, and that was back in 2009. Uh, I started uploading soon after that, and those videos are not on the internet anymore, I don't know. That's just, they're embarrassing. I forget if I talked about this in a previous video or not, but uh, at one point, um, I, when I went to monetize all my videos, because I'm a broke college student. Actually, you know what? I never made an update video about that. Oops. Um, okay, I'll just go go about it really quick. I wanted to become a YouTube partner so I could do the scheduled uploads so I wouldn't miss upload days anymore. And through that, I got the ability to monetize and they were going to be monetized. So I was like, oh, well, I'll put the little pop-up thing in the bottom so I can get 0 .003 cents of ad revenue. I don't even have that much anymore. Or that much yet even so even now I mean but yeah uh, again I'm a broke college student and yeah it's not like I'm gonna make any money off of this I'm just not it's just it's there um, but anyway oh uh, that's for another video but um, yeah I was going through and I was putting the video I was putting the monetization on the videos because I figured why not um, and uh, I ended up discovering that the first po PMD Let's Play I ever did, because um, I attempted, I did, I did, a, I, the, the first PMD Let's Play I ever did was the first Let's Play I ever completed, actually. 
But then I went right into the sequel, and then I didn't finish that. And that Let's Play wasn't that bad, it just still wasn't good, because I still wasn't that great of a com- I'm still not that great of a commentator, but like, even then I was still, like, 13 or 14 at that point, and I was like, a really, really awkward kid. Um, but I didn't even- I thought that I had removed my first Pokémon uh, Mystery Dungeon Let's Play off of YouTube, because I had a Pokémon Ranger Let's Play that I had on YouTube, and I remember deleting that at some point, in, in some hissy fit of me being emo and hating everything, so I, I deleted it. Um, not that there is anything noteworthy about that Let's Play, uh, just I remember the fact that it was on YouTube and then I deleted it, and I thought I did the same thing with the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon videos, and they're still on YouTube, technically, they're on private. And no, I'm not putting them back up, because that's... no. But, um, I ended up showing them to Kevin, and he was like, this is like the cutest thing I've ever seen, because, you know, he's Kevin, he's gonna think that they're cute, and I'm like, that's just, no, that's awful, why would you say that? And, I, I, I think, I don't know what my point is, but my point is that I sounded like I had a stuffy nose all the time. <laughs> I think that's my point. I don't know why, I just sounded like I constantly had a cold. Then again, I was still going to public school at that time, so uh, that might have been why I sounded like that. <laughs> I remember uh, I used to use my uh, aunt's old... Uh, it's not a camcorder, but it's like a camera, like one of them, like... like they record video, you know? I, I, I just... I did the thing with my hands, so I lifted my hand off the space bar. Um, but yeah, uh, it was like one of those little, like, cameras, and the little lens, like, you know, the, the, the cameras that aren't camcorders. They're cameras. I don't, I don't know if they have a more technical name than that. And it recorded in .mov, which Windows Movie Maker didn't accept, so whatever I recorded was the video. And back then, uh, videos, you could, you can only, um, it can only be 10 minutes back then. And I remember the camera was always low on space because she had a shit ton of fit photos on there because she was a normal human. She took normal photos um, of like things and events and stuff. So and she didn't put them on the computer through the SD card or anything. So they were just on there. Um, and so like I always like a lot of the videos was was just me complaining about the game was slow, and then I needed to like get stuff done before the end of the video. Like that was like 50% of my commentary. Um, and editing it was a bitch uh, because I couldn't. And getting it onto YouTube was even more fun because back then, I don't know if it was because of shoddy internet or what, but like it, the uploads would always fail. And YouTube back then had this really weird system where you could like bulk upload or something. Like you would go and you would click this option. I forget what in the hell it was. Oh, Cyan was level 100. Shit. <laughs> Happy level 100. Um, but you could like go in. Uh, the options and you could uh, bulk upload or whatever the hell it was and that would be the only way I would be able to get my, my the MOV videos on YouTube and so I would do that with the Pokemon Ranger I would do that with Pokemon Mystery Dungeon the first one and I remember that and I remember always being real nervous about like uploads and stuff because it would always fail and it would get me really mad because I tried to upload every day I tried to be like my role model at the time uh, <laughs> And I know what you're thinking, and no, it's not Checker Conroy, it was Super Skarmory. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, he, he, he was actually, he's actually the reason I'm on YouTube. I don't watch him anymore, I don't even know if he still does Let's Plays, but, uh, yeah, he, he was the reason I made a channel. Uh, and... <laughs> I wanted to be like him, I wanted to upload every day and be real cool and stuff. Um, but that was not feasible, because I could only record stuff at my aunt's house, because she had the camera. About about a year or two into LPing, like after Pokemon Mystery Dungeon and stuff, uh, I uh, got a camcorder of my own, I think for my birthday or for Christmas, doesn't matter. And I still actually have it to this day. I don't use it for anything because the only reason I even got it was for recording and I have a capture card now. But uh, with that camcorder, I actually recorded um, PMD2. I never finished it, but I got pretty far. I think I got to the Magma Caverns. Like, you know, like, that scene where, like, uh, it's, like, it's like the statue and then, like, the core fish and then there's Team Skull off in the background and they got 
face raped by Wigglytuff or something. I don't really remember. But but the point is is that like it was before like that cave it was like a steam cave or something, and then you go further and further, and there's Groudon at the bottom. Actually, I think I got to the Groudon fight. Never mind. Basically, that's as far as I got. And also with that camcorder, I recorded uh, Crack in Time, which is not on YouTube anymore. <laughs> It was one of my better Let's Plays, actually, but the quality is so bad that I don't want that shit on YouTube anymore. Like, I might put it back up, because again, it really wasn't that bad, but like, I recorded that shit in my living room, because that's where the TV was, and it was nice and awkward. Um, I remember at one point I attempted uh, a XD playthrough, and I actually had a real-life friend of mine co-commentating with me, and he didn't play video games, and he didn't care about what the fuck I was doing, so that was pretty embarrassing. I remember those videos being vaguely funny because he was just a funny person, but that was mostly because like we were in middle school at the time and like dirty jokes were funny and I think that was the kind of shit that he did. So like, yeah, it's just I'm I'm happy that I I don't even think I ever uploaded them actually. Like they like ended up dying with the Acer, which was the first computer I ever had. Why am I just talking about my past for no reason? No one fucking cares. <laughs> no one cares about that shit, but I'm still talking about it anyway. Um uh, but yeah, I don't know. I might well go through and watch uh, Crack of Time at one point because that I remember uh, that being like a playthrough that uh, people watched and people actually really enjoyed. Um, despite the fact that even in like 2011 or 2012, was it like camcorder LPs were like dying out? Like it was like not okay to do that shit anymore because capture cards were starting to become more relevant. Because at one point in time, capture cards for gaming didn't exist. But when once once LPing and like walkthroughs and shit became became a big deal, then like they started making gaming capture cards, or at least I'm a, I'm fairly certain that's how it went, right? Because I don't remember anything such as such as like the like the hippage and shit. How do you hippog? How do you say that? Anyway, like those things didn't exist back then. At least I don't think they did. And if they did, I'd be pretty surprised. Um. So, yeah, um, I actually got a cam camcorder in the last, like, five or so parts of that. I remember being so goddamn excited. I got the Diamond VC100 or 500 or something. Wait, no, now I'm getting confused with the dim the Dazzle. Fuck, whatever. It was the Diamond. It was the di Diamond. The same one that Capri Sun had, Nintendo Capri Sun had at the time. Or, like, Chugga or one of the two. I don't know, because that, whatever. One of them had it, and that's why I got it. And also, uh, a friend of mine had it too. And that was just the shittiest thing. And after, and it would do like a, like the video would flicker and stuff after a while. And it was just the awful thing. But <laughs> it, it worked. I actually still have it and I use it from time to time, even though I don't really record console stuff anymore because I would want to play it on the TV. Um, because there's certain games that you cannot play with button lag, like Ratchet and Clank, which is something I really want to do. But I tried to doing a Let's Play of that. Uh, I actually have three videos on YouTube that I had to put on private because I was because I couldn't continue the Let's Play because the button lag was so bad. Like it made me look like a noob. <laughs> no one says that anymore. But uh, yeah, it made me look like a fucking idiot, and I just couldn't play the game right because of the button lag. Uh, so once I get the splitter, which should be very very soon, or not the splitter. Fuck, I have a splitter. I mean the eight. I need an HDMI. Downverter, <laughs> downgrader, whatever, to, to AV, so my capture card can take it. Um, trying to think of other failed LP projects that I had. Oh, I have two videos, which are also on private, of me trying to do Super Mario DS, like the Super Mario 64 remake on the DS. Uh, I still have that game, and I actually, um, I beat it, like, legit at one point, but for the longest time, I just, like, Okay, I got an action replay at one point in my life, um, and I used that to beat most of my games. I packed the fuck out of, like, my, uh, Pearl game, which bit me in the ass because I had traded over, uh, stuff to be trained, trained up, quote-unquote, with, uh, Rare Candies and Pearl, and, uh, I did a thing, which I regret, but I had done that before and it was fine. But what I did was I, uh, you know, like when you trade with yourself or you trade with people, you talk to the lady that's behind the desk. What I did was I clipped through the desk or the counter and I talked to her from the right, which was fine before. Like that had never glitched up before. But in that instance, 
me trading over uh, an Evolution team plus a Riolu, which was like my favorite Pokemon. Like I love that thing. Um, when I when I went out of the lobby, like my character was gone and I couldn't interact with anything. I couldn't go downstairs or whatever. My game was basically borked, and I was de devastated <clears throat> because again, my Riolu, my Evolution team, whatever. So uh, yeah, like I kind of stopped using action replay after that. But uh, before then, I'm jumping around a lot. Um, I used the action replay to get all the stars from uh, the game, so I get like 100% in it, but not legit. Uh, later on, I would go 100% at legit, and uh, that game's pretty good. I don't know if I'd ever go around and let's play it because I'm not that great at Mario games. I don't know, like there's just I have to be in the mood for it. Um, the only reason I did Super Mario uh, 64 3DS, whatever the fuck it's called, I think it's because Super Skarmory was doing it at the time, or he had just done it or something, and I wanted to be just like him. So I think that was really the only reason for that nonsense. Um, but yeah, the camcorder, qu the camera quality was shit. Uh, it kind of looked like, okay, you know when like you, when you're when uh, you wipe a lens and then like your finger grease or hand like natural skin oils get all over the lens and like you just it looks like shit. It looked like that on the camera, but there was nothing on the lens. Like it's just. For the PMD LP, it wasn't as bad. Like, you could see it more more clearly. But for the Super Mario 3DS one, I don't understand why it looked so fucking bad. Like, it was just the worst thing ever. Um... <laughs> I, at one point, also attempted... Uh, for some reason, I uploaded Ratchet & Clank 3. Like, I uploaded one part of Ratchet & Clank 3 without playing the other ones. I don't know what possessed me to do that, but I did it. Uh, that didn't get continued because obviously that was a very dumb idea. I at one point uploaded one part of uh, Radiata Stories. It was supposed to be a duo LP with an old friend of mine, and that fell through for some reason. I don't quite remember why, but it did. Uh, I will get around to Let's Playing uh, Radiata Stories, though, and I'll tell you about it now. Uh, if you know what Radiata Stories is, Radiata Stories is kind of an unknown uh, RPG game from Square Enix. I don't know what year it was released, but probably around 2003 or 2004, I want to say. Most likely earlier, I want maybe, maybe, mm, I don't want to say 2002, maybe 2003 or, two, 2003 or 2002, I'm not sure. Anyway, it's old. And it's just... A lot. It's got kind of a cult following, um, and it's just one of those games that I could gush about it for hours. And I really wanted to do a really comprehensive kind of let's play on it. At the time, a few years ago, I was gonna be the first person to do a full let's play of it on YouTube, but I waited too long for that. And now I think there's like one or two let's plays on YouTube. But uh, what I want to do is be like the first like comprehensive like guide because uh, there's a bunch of, like, the game, you recruit allies, you recruit friends and stuff, and there's really convoluted things you gotta do to get them and stuff, and there's, like, a bunch of dungeons and shit. So what I wanted to do was make kind of, like, a really, really comprehensive video guide of, like, how to get each friend, how to go through the dungeons and where all the items are and stuff. Um, because I figured that'd be interesting. So, uh, yeah, that will be in the near future, because that's gonna be, like, like, in... In the event that I don't LP anymore, which from day to day is is a thought that passes through my head. Because some days I'm like, I don't know if this is worth it. And other days are like, I'm going to record like 17 videos in one night. Like, I just, I'm all over the place. But uh, if I, before I quit for good, I that's, that's what I want to do. I want to do that game. I want to complete my magnum opus, as I call it. I, before I go, that's the video, that's, that's the LP I want to do. And before I go, I want to do at least all of the Ratchet and Clank games at the time. Um, I did uh, everything after All for One Blind. I'd like to do them not blind. Uh, but if I'm going to go play through All for One again, I'm going to have Kevin with me. Because I'm not playing through that piece of shit with the fucking glitchy, stupid, awful, barely functional AI that will softlock your game. Because they're just so... just... oh my god. Anyway. Yeah, uh, I'm not going to subject myself to all for one unless I have Kevin with me for safety reasons. <laughs> but yeah, um, I, I wouldn't mind playing through the other games again, though. Oh, also, Into the Nexus. I should uh, talk about this, even though no one's asking. Into the Nexus was completed, but I lost the rest of the videos. 
they're gone. I don't know where they went. I don't know what computer they're on. They're gone. They're just, they're gone. I think they're probably on the, um, Asus. Okay. So I've had a lot of computers in my life. Uh, the first one was my Acer. Uh, that died. It was just old. It crapped out on me. Uh, the second one was a school computer. I think it was a Toshiba. And then I got a third one, which was the... I want to say that one was the Asus, and that one stopped working because of because the charger port got all fucked up for some reason. Like, I'll plug it in, but it won't charge because the charger port, the inside of it's all fucked up. Uh, if I press in the charger, it'll charge, but, like, I literally have to have my hand on it, so it makes it... And even then, sometimes it'll just stop charging, and it makes it really hard to get files and stuff off of there. But I'm, like, 70% sure that's where the rest of the Into the Nexus files are, so I'll look to see if I can find it, but if it's not there, I don't know. Uh, after that, or before, no, before that, excuse me, I had the Vio, and the Vio was interesting, it blew screens all the time, it's kind of shit, but, you know, whatever. Uh, yeah, so it was Vio, yeah, it was Acer, Vio, A no, yeah, Acer, Vio, Asus, um, and then after the Asus fiasco, I got a, uh, Lenovo. Uh, actually, I ended up getting two computers through kind of a funny mix-up. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't have it in me to say anything. Um, I got, uh, I got the, uh, Lenovo, which I'm using right now. I said that kind of funny. It's a Lenovo. Uh, and I got a Dell computer. And I don't know what happened to the Dell computer. I just... <laughs> so then... And this, this is where it gets a little bit ridiculous, and you're going to call me a hoarder. By the way, I don't have the Asus anymore, and I don't have the, Tosh the, the Toshiba school computer either. I have the Vio, I have the Lenovo, and I have another computer, which is also a Dell. And I bought it because I wanted to give it to Kevin. <laughs> because if you've watched Kevin's videos, you kind of hear the fan in the background. And that's because the computer, like, is kind of... Like, it's not old, but it's just... it It's just... it it, it It's... It, it strains itself to do what it needs to do. And uh, I was like, here get a new computer because his like the lid is kind of getting fucked up and stuff so i was like here just take a new computer damn you and he he didn't accept it so i took it um yeah so <laughs> yeah that's 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 that i don't know why i'm just talking about this shit no one cares oh my god get to level 100 damn you what the fuck stop being paralyzed oh my god fuck that just no, just stop. Um, let's talk about what game systems I own. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so that that's the next logical step in the in the in the circle here. So um, yeah, I can't remember any Let's Play projects though. Like that's about it. Yeah, that, that's about it for that talk. Um, yeah. Also, other projects I'm in. I'm in uh, Kevin's uh, Kingdom Hearts playthroughs uh, from Halloween Town in the first game to everything else. But, like, for the first 40 or so parts of Kingdom Hearts 1, I wasn't there. Um, uh, I cameoed in a Let's Play... Two Let's Plays from two of my old friends. Um, but aside from that, I wasn't really, like prominent in anybody's videos like I am with Kevin, so I don't know why I'm pointing that out, I just wanted to. Um... Yeah, so, uh... If anybody is still watching, which I highly fucking doubt, um... <laughs> I, uh... I remember distinctly my, my, uh, dad used to have well we we would have like it was in the living room but it was like my dad's obviously we would have uh he had an n64 and i remember this for some reason and i remember we had a mario 64 box so we probably had that game too i don't remember him ever playing it but i just remember seeing the box so like years later when i would see uh, years later when i saw the box art again i was like i've seen that somewhere and that's that's it. I don't know if that's one of my earliest memories or not, but I think it might be, just seeing that box, and I guess it struck me because it was just so red and bright and stuff. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't understand how my mind works either. After that, um, we he might have traded in the N64 for a PS2, and I still have that same PS2. 
Like, I'm not kidding. I still have it. It still works. The lit- What the fuck? It's 10 p.m. Who the fuck is calling me? Who- What the fuck? Okay, it's just some random fucking number. Are you kidding? No, I'm not editing that. <laughs> um... Uh, thank you, all. that's what I thought. Oh yeah, I still have that PS2. Like, just, it it still works. The lid's kind of screwed up. Sometimes I have to uh, put shit on it to weigh it down. But apparently that's not a unique issue, so... Again, it still works fine. It's still... It's still all faithful. Still fucking works. Um, the next... Uh, on Oh, on that system, uh, I played Kingdom Hearts. We just picked it... We, my, I remember my dad and I used to go to uh, GameStop or Best Buy... Uh, and we would pick out games, and my dad would let me pick out games. Like, like at one point, like, well, we went to Best Buy, and it was, like, in 2002, or 2003. And I don't know what the other game he had, but I'd like to think it was Jack and Daxter. And he let me pick between Jack and Daxter and Ratchet and Clank. And I picked Ratchet and Clank, because Ratchet was a kitty, and I liked kitties. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, I, again, I'd like to think it's Jack and Daxter, but I have no way to prove whether or not it was. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that that's why I ended up finding out about Ratchet. It was it was my own choice, and uh, I'm kind of thankful for that. I don't know. I just, I just think that's cool. Uh, I remember uh, we used to go to GameStop a lot and like GameStop a lot, bleh, and uh, look at the different games there, and like pick out ones that looked interesting. This is how we found out about Kingdom Hearts. We didn't get very far, but I remember the intro, like with the shadows and like the beach, and it was like nighttime and stuff. Like I remember that part because like the shadows used to freak me out. I don't know why. Everything used to freak me out as a kid. Um, everything still does freak me out. Um, uh, yeah, that's how we found out about Kingdom Hearts. And, like, I wouldn't actually, like, rediscover it until days. The same thing kind of happened with uh, Pokemon Ranger that I didn't end up discovering it until, like, way, way later. And then, like, the sequel was already out at that point and stuff. Like, I was just a total mess. But, yeah, I wouldn't play Kingdom Hearts again until days, which might be why I'm, like, really partial to it, but whatever. Um, <laughs> uh, on that system, I also played, uh, Radiata Stories, because we found that in the GameStop, and we thought that looked interesting. I remember, uh, we would, we played it, and we got to the intro sequence, and the game crapped out. Like, okay, there's an intro sequence, and there's, like, this book, and the book opens, you know, it's all cinematic and shit. But the game crashed at the fucking book, so we had to take the game back and, like, get it cleaned and shit, and then we finally got it to work a little bit, and then, like, the intro, there's, like, a dragon, and the dragon crashed the game, and it was just all bullshit. Once we finally got the fucking game to work, we traded it in for another disc, because at that point, Radio the Stories wasn't that fucking rare. This is, like, the rarest fucking substance known to mankind at this point, uh, along with other... PS2 games, you know? So, um... Uh, I remember that game, uh... Being... It was really, really cool, and I liked it a lot. My father liked, uh, the one... Like, the game splits into two different paths. My father liked the one path, and I liked the other one, and he's wrong, because the one I like is better. Um... <laughs> just saying. Um... Then, we had a Nintendo DS, but for some reason, my dad made it really explicit that it, it was his you know you shouldn't play with it whatever i did and, and eventually i still have that ds by the way that's my ds capture card the one that kevin frequently borrows but yeah that's yeah that's uh, so it was his um i remember uh, i used to play with it even though i wasn't supposed to and i what i would do is i would turn the volume up and down like like turn it up and then turn it off and then whatever you know because it sounded funny to me and then i ended up like cracking the speakers a little bit it's not that noticeable anymore so i don't know if it was just my imagination that they were cracked or what <laughs> um but where was i going with this oh yeah on that system i played uh fire red and stuff. I never owned a Game Boy. I didn't even know that they existed. I just always thought it was the DS. Like, I didn't know there was anything before that. Um, yeah, I played uh, Fire Red on that. That was my first Pokemon game. And then, like, a few years later, I would discover that Ruby and Sapphire exist. Oh my god. And I didn't even know that Gen 2 was a thing. Like, at one point, I was given a 10-year anniversary Pokedex book. Like, one of them things. And they had the second gen there, and I was like, what is this? And I didn't actually read it, because it says what games you can find these Pokemon in. So I didn't, like a normal person, look and see what games they were in. I just automatically assumed that there was a Pokedex full of Pokemon 
that you couldn't get in any game. <laughs> I had convinced myself that there were, that they made this whole Pokedex, but no game for it. Like I just that made sense in my head, and I w I told my family that, and they looked at me. Like, they believed me, but they at the same time, they were like, that's the dumbest business decision I've ever heard in my life, because I just made it up. <laughs> I just, I made it up. That's not true. I had no, I had no way to back that up. <laughs> I, was, I was a dumb kid. Um, we were all really dumb kids, I think. I don't know, if you were a smart kid, please let me know, because I, I was a pretty dumb kid. Um, and also, also why to this day I think shit like Slugma, Skarmory... Uh, Lantern. Like, that's why I think they're Gen 3 Pokemon. When they're not, they're Gen 2. So, like, if if you were to ask me, like, hey, what gen are these Pokemon from with, like, a gun to my head, I would st I would fuck it up. Because I don't... I would still get it wrong. I just, I'm just an idiot like that. Uh, after that, um, I got the PS3 from my grandma for my birthday, along with uh, Tools of Destruction. And, uh, the disc didn't work right, so I never got to beat it for, like, years until I got a new one. Um, but Tools of Destruction was great. I remember it looking really, really beautiful. Uh, it was just the graphics were, like, amazing at the time. And, like, I'm not a graphics horror or anything, but, like, even then I was like, holy shit, like, this is so cool. My grandma thought it was real cool, too. She was like, oh my gosh, the colors! I'm like, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> so it's just, uh, that was fun. Uh, also on the PS3, I mean, for the longest time, the only thing I really, the only reason I even had a PS3 was for Ratchet & Clank. I don't even remember, like, the next big game I even got on it. Like, eventually I just got other games. Um, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I, I, I know at some point I was gifted a blue DS because I was convinced that the silver DS is, uh, speakers were cracked but they're not um and uh that that was bought for me and crapped out before the silver one like the silver one still works but the blue one just crapped out before the silver one did like that thing had a considerably shorter lifespan than the silver one i don't know why the hell that is but it is um I got a Nintendo DSi when that came out because I was under the false impression that that was the new DS system. Like, I literally thought that, like, it, it would play a new... Like, I thought it was the 3DS, basically. So when I got it and it was, like, unpackaged, like, I unpackaged it and shit, and I realized, like, it wasn't a new system, I didn't tell my family because they thought it was the new system, and I was disappointed when I figured out it wasn't, but I never told them because <laughs> I felt like a really awful person. <laughs> Because, like, my, okay, like, contrary to how this sounds, my family doesn't have that much money, okay? They really don't. I'm, like, the only child. I, I Like, until I was, like, 15 or 16, I was the only child on both sides. And I'm still the only child on my mother's side. On my dad's side, I have, like, little cousins and shit now. But back then, I was the only kid. So, like, whatever I wanted, I got, basically. But that was because there was no other kids to, to that, that also wanted shit. So... I don't want anybody thinking I come from, from money money or something, because I don't. I really don't. Um, uh, I'm trying to think of anything else notable. Uh, I eventually got an Xbox 360, and it was literally to play Tales of Vis Vesperia, which I never bought. Like, that's the only reason I fucking got it, and I never I never found the game anywhere. I never, I never bought it. The only reason I got an Xbox, and I never fucking bought it. Because that's, because I'm just, I make sense like that. Um, I don't know how this is physically possible, unless some shenanigans went on, but, uh, when I moved, I've moved, like, one, two, three, four, five, I've moved, like, five times. <laughs> all, ba like, all, all but one involuntary. Not my choice. I've moved four times involuntarily. So I've lost shit along the way. I've lost some shit that really meant a lot to me. One of them being my Xbox. Do not fucking ask me how you lose an Xbox, but I lost it. Like, I was moving, and I was trying to find my Xbox. I had the cables. I had everything. I had, I still, I still have the controller. I have the cables. I, I have everything. Not the fucking system. I lost that shit, and I don't, I still don't know where the fuck it is. And I just, like... It baffles me to this day how I could lose something that fucking 
cumbersome and huge. Because the... Uh, those of you who are unfamiliar with the 360, they're big. Like, you think the PS3 is big? That thing is fucking bigger. Like, it's like... Like... It's like if we took the PS3 and you took, like, one of them rollers to it, it's like that. And heavier. It's heavier and longer and bigger than the PS3. Like, not, like, height-wise, but, like, width-wise. That shit is bigger and heavier. So... Yeah, I don't know how I manage that, but I, I still kind of laugh about it. Like, I just don't know where the fuck it went, and that's just the dumbest shit. Um... I did have a few games on it actually, but I never really. Oh, the only game I the only game I really played on it was Fable Three, and that game is just like the weirdest shit. I had a uh, let's play ish of sorts with Kevin Hand uh, for the latter half of the game, which is literally just playing the banjo the game. And the only fun pa the only funny part about it, excuse me, was that like the Xbox controllers, it's like the reverse of what the DS is. So like the Y and X are in the wrong spot and the A and B are in the wrong spot. So I had to keep looking down at the controller to do the banjo mini game because that was the only way you could get money and you have to raise money so you don't get butt fucked by the devil or so I don't remember like like a dark mist monster or some I don't remember but like that's that's basically like that's that's the second half of the game is that there's this creepy monster motherfucker and he will kill you if you don't save up money by playing the fucking banjo um and uh it yeah that was really the only entertaining part about it I got a bad ending or like a medium ending because I didn't save up enough money because I didn't feel like paying the banjo for another two hours I don't know if there's a better way to raise money and if there is then like please let me know that I can fucking play it but like that's yeah just, like, I just don't understand what kind of game that is it's like two games in one, because the first half is like an explore RPG, like, normal shit. And then the second half is just like this weird... ...descent into, like, madness, like, eldritch monster thing, and, like, it it's so weird. Like, the game should have stopped when you became royalty or something, but it just went... It kept going, and then it just became another game. But I'm sure better critics than myself have already pointed that out and made better jokes about it, so I'll stop there. But, uh, personally, I don't think Fable 3 is that bad of a game. I mean, yeah, it's awful, but I don't think it's that bad. Uh, I have yet to play any of the other games, so I can't really vouch for them, but I'm sure they're much better. And so that was really the only prominent game I ever played on the Xbox. Uh, after that, I- or, no, it's somewhere between the, the Xbox and whatever, I got the Wii, specifically just for Brawl. Um, and Brawl was fun. Uh, <laughs> I like Brawl a lot. Uh, I, at one point in my life... Oh yeah, also, I got a GameCube at one point. Sometime after the PS2. I completely forgot about my GameCube. And I don't know where the hell my GameCube is. I know it's somewhere. I think it's with my mom, like, in her room or something. But I'm not sure. Because I know I have a GameCube, and I know it's somewhere. Um, and the GameCube was uh, cute. It's a cute little system. It's got a handle, you know. Like you're gonna take it places. <laughs> um, apparently that was its intention. Like you were supposed to take it to friends' houses and stuff. But like, there, no, you're, we're not. Like that would like the cute little handle just doesn't have a purpose. Like I know that's what you put it there for, but no. Um, on the GameCube, I played the Pokemon Coliseum games, like the Shadow Pokemon games. Uh, they're fun. I like those games a lot. Uh, I will probably let's play them at some point. Um, personally, what? Oh, I just, something happened. <laughs> something. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I would want to let's play them games. And, uh, personally, actually, I was doing a Nuzlocke of XD. It was actually going pretty well. <laughs> I only had, like, two or three things die. It was going pretty well. Um, what I did was that, uh, at, like, every area I could pick one thing like not necessarily the first thing but like one thing from each area and even if they were like technically the same area like if it was like a different enough scenery I would count it as something else for example for um for the port town like there's the one guy with the ladyba and then the lady at the top of the lighthouse with the Puccina. I don't know if I counted them as two different areas but like logically speaking if it were a normal Pokemon game they would be two different areas so I don't know if I caught both but that's like an example of like stretching the rules a little bit um, but still I really didn't have that many Pokemon in reserve and uh, it was interesting 
very, very interesting. Um, so yeah, I definitely wouldn't do that like in a video, but uh, personally, I thought it was a pretty interesting experience. I would never do that for Coliseum because that game's hard as balls, and like it would be literally impossible. But XD, yeah, I, I foresee that being possible. My throat's kind of dry. Hold on, probably from talking for 45 minutes. Oh, Jesus. Don't you fucking hate it? Like, when you're taking a cap off a drink, and there's like that little rim beneath it, or the little like circle thing beneath it, and it comes off with the lid, and then you can't put the lid back on properly, because the fucking little plastic thing came off with it! Don't you hate that? Because I hate that. That's what happened with my iced tea, and I'm very upset. Um, after the PS3, I didn't really get many that many systems. Um... Uh, I remember when the 3DS came out, I got that, and my family was like, are you serious? Another fucking DS? Like, this is the last one, Caitlin. I'm like, okay. <laughs> With it, I got Nintendogs, which I played for, like, the longest that I had ever played any Nintendog game. By the way, I have all the Nintendog games. Like, I, li I literally have all of them. Don't fucking ask me why. I have Dalmatians, I have Labrador, I have... Dalmatian... Wait, did I say Dalmatian? I have Dalmatian... Whatever the one that isn't Chihuahua. I don't have Chihuahua because I don't like Chihuahuas. That's my reasoning. But yeah, I have all the Nintendogs games besides Chihuahua. Don't fucking ask me why. Just please don't ask me why. I mean, I like cats. Why can't we make a Nintendo Cats? Did they make a Nintendo Cats? They might have. Um, but... <laughs> Where the fuck am I going with this? Um... Yeah, but, uh, yeah, I got the Nintendogs. Oh, Nint well, yeah, Nintendogs plus cats. They did make a Nintendo cats. I can't believe I literally just asked that. But, yeah, for the first, yeah, my first 3DS game was Nintendogs plus cats, and I played the shit out of that game. Because that was literally a lot, that was, that was one of its launch titles. That was one of its launch titles. <laughs> literally. Uh, after that, uh, that was when my family stopped buying me video games, so it was kind of harder for me to get a hold of them. Um, but I still got Black and White 2 on time, um, X and Y, you know. And I think the most recent system after the 3DS would be the new 3D, new 3DS, not the XL, just the new 3DS, which Kevin Hen got for me, and the PS4, which Kevin Hen also got for me, so, <laughs> because my family, they don't, they don't buy me video game systems anymore, they're like, you're too old for that shit. I'm like, no, I'm not, please, <laughs> please indulge in my obsession. <laughs> If I'm using that word properly, I think I am. Um, or please, what? No, never mind. Um, but yeah, I think I think the last video game system that was ever bought for me was probably my 3DS, which I can't find. So that's yeah, like my blue 3DS, I cannot find it. I don't know where the fuck it went, and I'm very very upset. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Um, God, I remember Smash 3DS, like, and that was the game that, like, killed my, uh, my, my, uh, little, like, stick, the control stick on the 3DS. There's a word for it, but I don't remember what it is. Like, it's called something very specific, and for the life of me, I don't remember what it was. Uh, I don't know, I haven't played Smash 3DS since the Wii U version came out, but Smash Run, though, Smash Run was pretty cool. Oh yeah, uh, I don't have a Switch yet. I don't foresee myself getting a Switch for a very long time. Because Kevin's gonna probably have to buy it for me, or I'll buy it for myself, which will be really weird because I've never bought myself a game system before. <laughs> Kevin bought himself the PS2 years ago so he can play Kingdom Hearts. Um, I would say he got like a bundle, but that's not exactly correct. Like he bought it with, like he bought the PS2 with the with uh, Kingdom Hearts. He also bought all the Ratchet and Clank games, which he needs to let's play at some point. He only got the first one done, and I want him to do the rest of them, because, like, I just... Level 100! Woo! Almost fucking done. Almost fucking done. Yeah, he bought that for himself. Um, so that was, uh, that was fun. And he has the Switch, I think. 
I think. I think. I think he does. No, he. No, wait. Yeah, he he does because he has Breath of the Wild. And the only reason he hasn't streamed Breath of the Wild yet is because first he was sick, and then he got his wisdom teeth out. But uh, by the time this goes up, he'll probably have already been streaming, so this probably dates this video. But fuck it. Um, I'm just talking in the moment right now. I'm trying to be in the moment, guys. No, <laughs> no, I'm not, no. Oh my god, grinding up Aruna is such a fucking hassle because superpower. Okay, he's getting there, he's getting there. Um... I have just suddenly run out of things to talk about. Um... But yeah, uh, about the uh, new 3DS XL though, I guess I'll talk about that. Uh, Kevin got it for me, um, because I wanted the DS with the plates, but you couldn't get the plates because they were only selling new 3DS XLs, which weren't compatible with the plates for some reason. And they could have just made plates in that size and they would have had double the profit, but whatever. Um, like it would have taken like three extra seconds of engineering to make it so that you could put the plates on, but that's just me. Uh, <laughs> maybe it's not that simple, I don't know. It looks that simple to me. Um, and they also had, like, Animal Crossing plates, and it had, like, Isabel on it, and it was just, like, really cute, so he got me it because I liked it and I wanted the plates and stuff. Uh, more recently he got me, uh, Xenoblade plates, because I really liked that game. Um, I haven't beaten it, but I really like it. Uh... I kind of fell out with that game a little bit because uh, Kevin and I were playing it together and then I got really far ahead. Well, not really far ahead, but a little bit ahead and then like we just stopped. But um, I want to beat it at some point because I do really like it. Uh, and I also have Xenoblade X, which I know has nothing to do with the actual Z Xenoblade. Wait, is it Xenoblade X or Xenoblade Chronicles X or Xena? Is Xenoblade X the new one? Shit, whatever. The one the one that came out on the Wii U. With like the giant fucking robots. That one. <laughs> that one. <laughs> I know what Fly does. Okay, well that yeah, that that's serviceable. Um so yeah, I won't I mean like even so I won't play that until I beat Xenoblade. I might pl and let's play that one blind, but I'm not 100 percent sure. You know, I I mean I Actually, I have the Wii version of Xenoblade, and I'll tell you why I have that. Because the fucking camera in in the three in the new 3DS version is just the worst thing, and the controls are pretty weird because there aren't enough buttons. Like even with the two extra buttons, there still aren't enough buttons. So if I were to ever uh, redo that, I would probably uh, do a blind let's play actually, and I'd probably co-com with uh, Kevin because why the hell not? Oh, we're getting there, we're getting there. I think I have rare candies. I think I have rare candies, so let me just... Okay. 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 Where the fuck? I had three rare candies, are you fucking kidding? Anyway. Yeah, put that in your neck! No, I don't know. <laughs> put it in my nose. <laughs> uh. There you have it, folks. Wow, look at that attack versus the special attack. No wonder he sucks. Anyway, thanks for listening to this, if you did. I don't know. This was fun, a little bit. <laughs> Yay! At least I got it out of the way, you know. Why not? Anyway, yeah, thanks again, and I'll see you guys next time.